Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this transistor circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the value of this resistor R2. So here we have been given that the voltage across this 3.3 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 5 volt. Now if you look this circuit, then this circuit is made up of PNP transistor. So in this transistor, this current will be the collector current that is IC while this current will be the emitter current and the current which is coming out of the base terminal will be the base current. So from this voltage we can easily find the collector current. So here this collector current IC will be equal to 5 volt divided by 3.3 kilo ohm that is equal to 1.515 milliampere. Now here we have been given that the beta is equal to 100 that means here this base current IB will be equal to IC divided by beta that is equal to 1.515 milliampere divided by 100 that is equal to 15.15 microampere. Moreover here this emitter current will be equal to beta plus 1 times IB that is equal to this 101 times 15.15 microampere that is equal to 1.53 milliampere. So in this way from the voltage across this 3.3 kilo ohm we got the value of the collector current, base current and the emitter current and using this emitter current we can find the voltage at this node. So this voltage will be the emitter voltage. So here this emitter voltage V will be equal to 12 volt minus the voltage drop across this resistor that means the emitter voltage will be equal to 12 volt minus IE times RE that is equal to 12 volt minus this 1.53 milliampere times 1.2 kilo ohm that means this emitter voltage is equal to 12 volt minus 1.83 volt that is equal to 10.16 volt. So in this way we got the voltage at this node. Now here we have been given that the voltage VEB is equal to 0.7 volt. So from this we can say that this voltage VE minus VB is equal to 0.7 volt or base voltage VB is equal to VE minus 0.7 volt that is equal to 10.16 volt minus 0.7 volt that is equal to 9.46 volt. So in this way we found the voltage at this node that is the base voltage and using this we can find this resistor R2. So here let's say the current through this resistor R1 is equal to I1 while the current through this resistor R2 is equal to I2 and this current is the base current. That means here this current I2 is equal to I1 plus IB. So first of all let us find this current I1. Now we know that this base voltage VB is equal to 9.46 volt right. That means we can say that this current I1 is equal to 12 volt minus VB divided by R1 that is equal to 12 volt minus 9.46 volt divided by 4.7 kilo ohm that is equal to 0 0.539 milliampere or we can say that it is equal to 539 microampere and we already know the base current. So we can say that this current I2 is equal to I1 plus IB that is equal to 539 microampere plus 15.15 microampere that is equal to 554.76 microampere. So in this way we find this current I2 and we already know the base voltage. So from this we can find this resistor R2 because the base voltage VB can be given as this I2 times R2. 
that means this resistor r2 is equal to base voltage vb divided by i2 that is equal to 9.46 volt divided by this 554.76 microampere and if you calculate the value then it will come around as 17.06 kilo ohm so approximately we can say that this resistor r2 is equal to 17 kilo ohm that means for the given question the value of the resistor r2 is approximately equal to 17 kilo ohm